Hey guys, it's Rachel and Candace, and we're breaking down all of the looks from last night's Golden Globes. So first up, we have Jennifer Lopez in Gian Battista Valley. I have never seen her look better, and she's showing no skin. So J-Lo, big too fab for me. From the mustard color to the high neck and the cape, I, she's full on glamour in this. She's gonna get a two fab for me too. Um, I feel like last year she did all these sheer looks and it's just so refreshing, like you said, to see her in something different, something sophisticated, very fashionable, and the color is amazing for me. So next we have Jennifer Lawrence and she's wearing Dior, of course. Ah, uh, duh, sorry, too drab. Like, I just, I don't like this look. I feel like I've seen this cut of a dress in like Topshop okay. and on the red carpet it just feels so casual for me and I'm so over her wearing Dior. I know she has a partnership with them mm -hmm. but it's like it's been going on for too long. I'm over it. I agree with the Dior. They need to step up their game but I do like that it's a different silhouette for her. She's done a lot of feminine ladylike dresses so I'm going to give her a two fab. It was her night. She won. That necklace is beautiful so I don't know. Agree to disagree. So next up, we have Amy Schumer, Jennifer Lawrence's BFF, and she's wearing Prabal Garang. She was nominated, she didn't win, she lost to Jayla, and I hated her look. I'm sorry, I hated it. It was horrible. She has all of this access to any designer. She's kind of the new it girl, and she wore that. This was so disappointing for me too. I mean, I feel like she's been doing so well at some of her other events, being a little bit more sexier, and this was just weird along with the hair and oh the God. makeup. Horrible. Why? I'm sorry. Too drab, Amy Schumer, why? So now we have, I think, my favorite from the night, Kate Hudson and Michael Kors. I mean, I know. Just how can you not give this a two fab? She always kills it, and everything from the color to the cut and the neckline is so on trend right now. There were a lot of mixed reviews in, with the two fab team, actually, and I loved it. It was a risk. I mean, her body is ridiculous. I would not have guessed that she would wear this for the Globes, but I love that she took the risk, so I loved it. Two fab. So now we have Jane Fonda. <laughs> and she's wearing Yves Saint Laurent. I hate to laugh. I'm sorry, like this makes me laugh because it's just so absurd. It's too drab, it's ridiculous. No. She looks like, like a cupcake, a sea urchin, like I don't even know, it's horrible. And I love Jane Fonda. She's 78, has a killer bod, but why would she put this on her top half? Next up, we have Lady Gaga wearing Versace, and it was her night last night. She won for American Horror Story. I hated it. I'm sorry. I love Lady Gaga, and she did go glamorous, which I appreciated. I just didn't like the cut. This is weird for me to say this, but I actually really like this. So I'm gonna give her a two fab, because I'm glad that she was nominated for an award. She won, and she looked normal for herself. <laughs> Like True. the hair was the hair was glam, the makeup was nice, and even though the cut of the dress was a little odd with those hips, I think it worked for her. She has to bring a little bit of her personality to a look, so. So we have Katy Perry and she is wearing custom Prada. And this just screams like bridesmaid gone wrong. Like this is a, a nightmare of a dress. Too drab. The hair. I know. She said she was wearing a bump it. Why? Like literally seen on TV bump it, which no, you're at the Golden Globes, no. But the color of the dress really bothered me and the fit wasn't there, so I was surprised that it was custom. Those were our looks from last night. Check back with 2Fab for more of our Golden Globe coverage. And don't forget to like and subscribe.